Pod Time. Maya Acosta joined today by Sarah E. Diaz with TVRPD and Bailey Damien, who has now joined the team as the recreation specialist. So welcome, you two. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Yes, exciting. The team is growing. Sarah E., just not too long ago, you were in the position that Bailey is in, and now you are the recreation manager. So this is cool to see you guys develop as TVRPD is doing more things, bringing in more people with um, different skill sets, and just continuing on the great things that you guys do there yeah. at Parks and Rec. Yeah, just like how I say, you know, it only gets better. We're going to do bigger and better things here soon. Yes, absolutely. And July is a very exciting month. It is fun summer nights all month long. We've already kicked it off. Um, We're getting through the first week, week and a half, and we've got lots to talk about. So jumping right in, should we talk about what's going on on Wednesday? Yeah. So Wednesday's a fun one. It's a unique one that no one has seen or really done in Tehachapi, at least for like a very long time, Mm -hmm. um, is our family dodgeball night. And we're actually partnering up with the city of Tehachapi for this one. We're using Valley Park, the new facility, um, to do some dodgeball throw-in. So it's, you know, a good way to either have fun or release tension. I don't know which one. (laughs) (laughs) But this is great, too, because Valley Park, obviously, is a -a five-a-side soccer field where you kick the ball and it bounces off the walls. But this is a super cool way to utilize that space and contain all of the dodgeballs because people are going to be throwing these balls with some serious <laughs> rage and power <laughs> so, yeah so, so it's so. gonna be an interesting one i'm i'm really excited yeah. to see how this turns out and this um, is a free event right yes yeah completely free event um like i said uh tvrpd and city of Tehachapi partners up so we're gonna have a whole bunch of dodgeballs there um so just come on have some fun f- tomorrow night from 6 to 8 p.m very fun And then after that, Thursday, it's been a recurring thing that you guys have done on Thursdays, the movies in the park. Yeah, so movies in the park this time is another fun one, fun movie, uh, Kung Fu Panda 4, so the newest release. Um, So that'll start around 8.30. Um, but definitely come early, get good seats because from what we saw last or two weeks ago with Wonka, that park at Meadowbrook Park filled up. I saw pictures. It was crazy. How many people do you think were there? maybe two, 250, 250, awesome. something like that. So it was, it was a good, a good amount of people. And, um, triple J who was our snack bar host, um, they brought in pizza and they sold out oh. pizza in like 30 minutes. Oh, really? nice. Like it was fast. Like people were buying boxes. I'm like, Oh yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> um, so this time we're having Starlinks, um, be the host for our snack bar. So the food is still TBD. But they'll be there selling snacks, selling some good, you know, moving movie stuff. Um, on top of that, we'll also have like the aviation aviation crosswind experience. So you got to like build a plane and you got to draw out the plane and fly that little plane. Oh, um, yeah. So it's a good thing to like kind of um, experience to hatch P two is mm-hmm. also celebrate its wind. Kind of backtracking to the kite festival that we had or we partnered with um, the chamber. Mm-hmm. This one's just you build a plane and you let it fly with the wind. Fun. What a fun activity to do there in the park. Definitely. Okay. We're talking about good turnouts. I'm going to kind of go backwards here as well. (laughs) The All-American 5K was this past weekend, July 4th. Amazing turnout you guys had. Can you tell me more about that? I mean, that was an all-time high for registrants, am I right? Yes. So we, we broke a record. Um, we had well over 300 participants and 300 of those were actually pre-registered. Wow. We only did maybe about 20 more submissions mm-hmm. that day, um, the, like the morning of, and that was it. We, we were packed. We didn't have any more, um, tracking bibs. We didn't have any more shirts. We didn't have anything. We were at capacity. Um, so as we were mentioning, we kind of threw Bailey into the fire. <laughs> this was her big first event. So we did packet pickup on her first day. Yes. Um, wow. Big event. Yeah. We went shopping for waters and all this other fun stuff. Um, so what'd you think, Bailey? It was great. Yeah. When I came into the office and I saw all those packets and then the boxes with more packets, I was like, okay, this is going to be huge. And um, yeah, the day of so many people came and showed up and it was great to see. I think 5k is amazing. Running's become more popular. And it's just good to see everyone come out and enjoy, what, 3.2 miles, I think? 3.1, 3.2, yeah, somewhere, somewhere around, around there. there. Yeah. But yeah, it was huge. Yeah. Everyone showed up. 
and all the was, dogs. It was so cute to see the dogs in the strollers. <laughs> that was know. my favorite. Yes, we mm-hmm. we are dog people here. So oh, yes. absolutely. <laughs> but it was great. I mean, yeah. there were people of all ages, and and yes. people are dressed up in their yes. um, Fourth of American, July uh-huh. gear. It was. We didn't see the Patriots. We didn't see the four original signers. <laughs> that no. was very. Sad. I know we had mentioned that, right? <laughs> we needed to see the founding fathers. They're running. Um, I did see some point on Fourth of July somebody dressed up in like Civil War. Oh, yes, yes, I saw at the park. <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs> oh my goodness just imagine that as a runner that would have been yeah fantastic. that would have been great. someone brought a flag yeah i mean oh, yeah some they flags. took pictures with it um afterwards so Amazing. that was cool so people i mean really got into the spirit mm-hmm. yeah just running gear um their socks their flags their hats all that stuff mm-hmm. but i still wanted to see the founding fathers <laughs> <laughs> So that was a great turnout, yes. and uh, you guys have another 5K in the future. We'll get to yes. that in a minute, but back to fun summer nights. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so go- continuing on for this week, this Saturday, we have a kayak event at yes. Bright Lake. Yeah, so it's more, you know, experiencing more of Bright Lake. Last Saturday um, was a really good turnout in the morning and the evening just to avoid the heat. Um, but, but you had to, or you could go fishing for free without a license kind of deal. So that also brings in more people and people get to learn how to fish and whatnot. So mm-hmm. that was a great turnout as well. So in this time we're bringing people back to Bright Lake this Saturday. Um, so if you bring your kayak or you're going to go rent out one of our, I think we have right now two or three kayaks at oh. Bright Lake, you can rent it out and you can kayak for free. So the boat launch is waived and the entry is waived so long as you're there for kayaking. And that's going to be for from 10 30 a.m to 4 30 p.m very cool that'll yeah. be fun i've never kayaked before oh my <laughs> goodness i was like i want to oh my <laughs> it sounds so much fun so i'm always running around like oh, bailey and i just talked about like i always have to be doing something i yeah. cannot sit still <laughs> um so i'm always working or playing with my dogs or doing something kayak is like the only thing that actually decompresses my brain and really? i can just like sit there and enjoy like if you're there at bright lake at like six in the morning kind Mm -hmm. of deal um the the sunrise is gorgeous the lake is so calm um so it's the perfect place to go decompress even with this event you will forget about everyone and their kayaks the moment you get on there and you start rowing and just enjoying the gorgeous views from there you start to decompress and just enjoying life how nice so i definitely recommend it that sounds very (laughs) lovely it's like meditative as Mm -hmm. the way you're describing it yes it's definitely a good meditation okay i need to try this i do maybe have a a slight fear (laughs) of um boats and whatnot oh no no. so (laughs) take someone you guys could do the double okay (laughs) good I'm always like, what if I tip over? That would be in my mind. <laughs> I know you see those videos all the time. <laughs> I mean, those silly, silly videos. Um, but just going kayaking, I mean, you're very stable. Kayaks are made to stay upright and you're mm-hmm. sitting right there. And it, um, the kayaks that you can rent out actually has like a back thing. So your back won't even hurt because so, ah. you're leaning back on something and you just row and just enjoy. There's even life jackets just in case <laughs> just in case <laughs> very nice well that sounds like a good time again 10 30 to 4 30 this saturday yes. okay and then sunday we have more open gym at the gym <laughs> yes <laughs> which gym because we actually have gotten questions of like which gym is it mm. um because we have the fitness gym the gym in golden hills yes <laughs> so i didn't realize that connection until someone brought it up about two three weeks ago i'm like what are you talking oh not that our one. abiac gym yes. the one right next to our facility so 410 um west d street right mm-hmm. um that one we we're gonna have free open rec so um and we're actually opening it up to kids under 16 for um two hours from 12 to 2 um you can go out there and play some basketball that's you know the most played sport Mm -hmm. here at tvrpd so you can go out there and play with some friends meet new friends throw some hoops we have about six hoops out there Mm -hmm. so um just go out there and, and have some fun for free very and then, fun yeah and even adults um we have volleyball right after that and we have more more basketball starting at five to nine um so yeah definitely go enjoy our gym have some fun get some exercise in um put those miles in on our challenge runner oh, app yeah. yes on our fit and fun under the sun yeah this is really just to promote our facility and promote that we have basketball and, and volleyball and you can go out and have some fun mm-hmm. very cool and speaking of fit and fun under the sun oh my gosh people are putting in thousands Crazy. of miles already 
Yeah, the first week we we're almost at ten thousand. Yeah. I'm like, how? Wow, and this is insane. What did we end up? What was like the overall total for the last quarter? Are you ready for this one? Yeah, well over thirty five thousand miles. Thirty five thousand, and you said we are already in the first week over ten thousand. Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yeah. People really were like, okay, I'm Let's in. Let's do it. And I'm like, <laughs> wow, you we're in the middle of summer. Yeah. And uh-huh. People are heat? still going out. Mm-hmm. This I mean, for me it's fascinating. Like I'm so glad that this project <laughs> and this like idea really turned out to be a huge hit. It people is. are loving it and it makes me super happy. So thank you to Hatchapi. <laughs> yeah. Very popular thing. And I mean, as we've said, it is super motivating to get out and go be active even in in yeah. This heat. <laughs> yeah and even just competing with anyone mm-hmm. yeah it, it's a good challenge oh it is and if people <laughs> listening want to sign up tvrpd.org yes once you're there on our website you'll see on our under tabs challenge click on that and you can start your registration process exciting stuff all free yes <laughs> okay continuing on the 17th yes that is next wednesday yes we have a concert in the park yeah so um our concert in the park is played by um a band who actually came to us they are kind of starting out but we listen to some of their music um forgive me band if i don't remember the name correctly but i believe it's flashback okay um they're playing at concerts in the park they're really really nice really genuine people and then we'll also have a pop-up volleyball net out there. Oh, fun. Um, to play out at Central Park. And we'll also have a really interesting puppet show. Just oh. kind of like <laughs> how to make your puppet or just a little puppet show to just, you know, like that scene in Shrek where they have like a little yeah. puppet and whatnot. So <laughs> hoping it's kind of like that. <laughs> right. You've got something for everyone there mm-hmm. that night. Yes. Yeah. So definitely go out and enjoy um, some concert in the park. Very cool. Yeah. All right. And then the 20th, tying in with kind of another community partner yes. that we all work with, um, the Arts Commission. Yes. They are doing Art to Hatchapi. Yeah. Tell me about how you guys are involved with that. So we let them use our um, facility, the ABAC Gym, um, to host the Art Gala. So I know a little bit more in detail, um, just little, you know, insert here. But I, I worked on their website, so that's <laughs> how I know so much information about their art gala this year. So they bring um, artists from all over um, the country to come paint to Hatchapi and showcase what these paintings mean and what they captured. Um, some of them are gorgeous sunsets. The horses out in um, like Cummings Valley or anything like that. So mm-hmm. they drew a lot of Tehachapi. So this is an opportunity to go experience and see art and um, buy one and put it in your house kind of deal. So this is just um, bringing art and motivating people to to enjoy art. And we're trying to get more arts in the park as well. Mm-hmm. So this is a good collaboration where people understand just how important art is. And there's so many artists here alone in Tehachapi. Oh, yeah. Um, and everyone has a unique mind. So to bring it up and get to know more about um, even painting skills or techniques. Yeah. And so that'll be the 20th and, wait, yes, yeah, 20th, 20th and 21st. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Two days. It's a special one. Perfect. <laughs> and then kicking the rest of that week off, the 22nd, yes. we have a free lapse swim. Yeah. So I want to start off by saying that open rec last Friday <laughs> Broke another record. <laughs> really? Oh my goodness. Crazy. We did open rec, which is just free swim. Yeah. From 7 to 10 p.m. P.m. People were still like, I've got to go swim in the evening. Yeah. So, you got to get those kids to burn their energy before Yeah, bed. right? <laughs> <laughs> so we opened up at 7. By 7.40, according to our head lifeguard, we were at about 120 people in the oh pool. Oh my gosh. And I'm like, wow, people really want this. Okay. Mm-hmm. So um, me just... For safety reasons, I'm like, okay, you guys can have fun, but for safety reasons, our lifeguards um, had to just limit how many people were going to get it in the pool. Sure. So we ended up having a huge line um, oh, for people waiting for people to get out so oh, others can get in. Wow. Um, but it was a huge hit. Um, everyone loved it. Everyone had fun. We had the doors open so everyone could see sunsets too. And it was just an overall great experience. So now it's not free swim, but it's lap swim. So bring your friends, bring your family. We're going to have the lane lines out um, from five to seven in the morning. And also from 5 PM to 6 30 PM that day, um, July 22nd. So you can swim back and forth some laps or even just try out swimming. Um, You can learn some, some different strokes. Um, Yeah. It's just 
another way to to promote some swimming get those more miles in and a great way to beat the heat too oh my gosh has it been hot here definitely <laughs> yeah <laughs> this is an unheard of heat wave and that pool is currently about 82 ish degrees all right um so once you step in you're like oh that is cold but it feels good <laughs> yeah it feels cold refreshing yes and then wednesday the 24th stargazing that's yeah. a cool unique event as yeah. well yeah yeah, so um, our Bright Lake coordinator, she invited um, the Bear Valley um, Springs Astronomy Club. So they'll they'll be out there with their telescopes and all that stuff and helping out other people. So feel free to bring your own telescopes or just enjoy the night um, looking at stars. They'll be pinpointing um, which stars is showing and what this constellation is and whatnot. So it's just... Instead of just looking up at the sky randomly like, oh, cool, those are stars, like actually get to know the constellations and get to know not only Bright Lake at night, but our galaxy. Oh, <laughs> yes. From Bright Lake to the yeah. universe. Yeah. And it, it's, I mean, it's a perfect spot because there's no light pollution out there at True. all. So the amount of stars, I mean, even at my house. Um, the amount of stars that we see here in Tehachapi is insane, mm -hmm. yeah. as opposed to like Los Angeles, where you'll probably see one star. <laughs> if um, you're lucky. Yeah. yeah, if you're lucky and there's no buildings around. Right. <laughs> and then that following Thursday, again, the 25th, another Movies in the Park. Yes. At, uh, this time at Meadowbrook Park. Yeah. So um, the one at, on the 11th of July and 25th of July will be at Meadowbrook Park. And then in August, it'll be back at Central Park. Oh, um, okay. So this one will be the movie Elemental. I heard it's really cute mm -hmm. a little movie. So again, bring your families, bring your friends. Um, we'll have another snack bar there as well. Um, and just come enjoy the night. People really like to. I saw people like playing volleyball and like baseball before the movie. Hey, there so you go. go out and have fun with your friends, family. Make sure to still reserve your spot before mm -hmm. the movie and come enjoy. Very fun. I like yeah. it. And then the following day, that Friday, the 26th, we have a disc golf at yes. Meadowbrook as well. Yeah. So disc golf, we do have a disc golf course at Meadowbrook Park. So a lot of people do go out and um, enjoy it. So it's throughout all of Meadowbrook Park and they're numbered as well. So go out and try to throw a frisbee or I guess a disc golf um, <laughs> onto the, the course and um, just learn about it. It's pretty fun and it gets competitive too. Oh, yeah. Um, people wanting to actually score and you see all these disc golfs all over the floor and just one made it in. <laughs> I've actually never tried that. It's it's interesting. Uh -huh. It's difficult. Yeah. yeah, it seems like it would be a little tough, but I'm yeah. not any good at it. No, <laughs> our, one of our maintenance guys does it quite often and he said it's pretty fun. Okay. So I think he's to try it out. out out there. Okay, I'm not cool. too sure, but um, definitely go try it out. Absolutely. Okay, then that Saturday, the 27th, a pickleball tournament at... Who we're working with on that one. Oh, <laughs> who we're working with us. <laughs> so at our TBD Pickleball Courts, you guys are hosting a tournament there. What's that all about? How can people sign up? What are the details? <sighs> lots, lots. <laughs> I think this is our first ever Tehachapi Pickleball Tournament. I think so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, within city limits. You guys are the mm -hmm. first to take advantage of our courts there. Really exciting. <laughs> I do want to say, I think it's a good collaboration. Oh, absolutely. I don't want to take too much credit. No, it's a great it's a good, collaboration. I mean, Pete Budge, <laughs> unfortunately, he's not here right now, but, you know, he's really into pickleball. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we we talked about and discussed and we brought up this pickleball tournament uh, for beginners, um, intermediate and advanced people. So mm -hmm. that's going to be an interesting one for advanced. Just It'll Just be intense. competitive. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so we're having that starting at 730 in the morning all the way up to 230 p.m. And you can register for that. We have very limited spaces. Um, so you can register at TV, TVRPD dot org and um, just registering you can also register for our next one um, for the cornhole tournament as well um, but this one will be sixty dollars you do have to sign up as a team so it'll be mixed doubles tournament um, and i think it key labeled it round robin okay um but it'll be super duper fun um me and our metal guy designed the metal and oh my goodness <laughs> you if you're not if you don't like pickleball sign up for that metal because it is gorgeous you're gonna want to win <laughs> yes okay you're going to want to win one of those medals do we get to see a sneak peek of what the medal looks like or is it a surprise maybe <laughs> no i i do i love showing off the medals because uh -huh. people love wearing them people love mm -hmm. showing it off or hanging it out their house so once i get them in i'll show you 
the whole world on our social media. Okay. So stay tuned. Yes, keep your eye out on TVRPD social media. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and you were mentioning uh, the cornhole tournament as yes. well. That is the following day, the 28th. Yeah, so this one will be at West Park. Um, so we'll be doing a huge cornhole tournament. Um, and there will be three divisions for kids, teenagers, and then adults. Um, so everyone will have a chance to do some cornhole and win a $200 gift card to local shops. Very um, cool. Awesome. Yeah. That, uh, I think the chamber sells them. Yeah. Yeah. So shop local and, mm -hmm. um, with, with your 200 bucks. And I think Key mentioned you can actually use it here at the city of Tehachapi office too. Yes, you can. If you need to pay your water bill or buy <laughs> some of our city merch, you can do that with the, uh, shop Tehachapi gift cards. That's cool. fantastic. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So if you want to um, just try out cornhole or really, really want to win that gift card, come out and sign up again, tvrpd.org for our cornhole tournament. Awesome. And then as we start to close out the month on the 30th, we have another 5K. So that's yep. at Freedom Trail in Golden Hills. Yeah, we're not slowing down here. No, <laughs> literally, because you'll be running. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, we'll walk slash we're run. Walking. If you want to get into 5Ks, this is a good start, mm -hmm. too. It's not timed. It's not with a bib. There's no serious competitiveness. It's okay. just we're giving you the trail. If you are a 5K runner, we're giving you the trail so that you can track it and add it to your record. Cool. Um, so this one will start um, at Meadowbrook, as mentioned, and it'll be at 630. So it'll be more of an evening thing. And again, the the sunsets the at Meadowbrook, that trail is fantastic. And you'll see some some wildlife probably. Oh, yeah. I believe yeah. it. Some good bunnies. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you need to sign up for this 5K or just show up? Nope, you just show up. Okay. Um, there at the Freedom Trail, we'll have some signs out to where your, our meeting um, spot is, and then just come out and have some fun with us. Bring some good music, some good headphones. And cool. Enjoy. Awesome. And then the finale, the 31st, we've got a double whammy, yes. Zumba class, <laughs> yes. and a roller rink party. So after you're done with the 5K, get yes. some good night sleep and come <laughs> out and do some free Zumba. Yes. Love this it. is open to absolutely anyone. Um, our certified Zumba instructor, Kathy Armendariz, mm -hmm. which we had here um, on our podcast two months ago, I yeah. think. Um, she still has a lot of fire in her, loves these <laughs> Zumba classes. Um, so she'll be doing a free Zumba class from 8 to 9 a.m. And it's for all levels. Even if you can't do the fast beat ones, she'll give you like, okay, do this instead. Um, so it's just a good way to uh, find a different way of moving um, where it's not running, it's not biking, it's not swimming, it's a, a dance and you're having so much fun with it. And she has energy. So you'll, oh, yes. you're going to have fun. <laughs> yes, absolutely. And then the roller rink party. I'm evening. so excited for this one. <laughs> I love, like, I love, love, love roller skates. <laughs> so I can't talk about it more than that. <laughs> but it'll be at our ABAC gym, not the gym, at our gym, yes. 410 West <laughs> D Street. Um, so this one, just bring your roller skates. Um, all family members are welcome out here. Uh, we're going to have a disco ball. We're going to set the mood, put on some groovy music, and Very just fun. have um, a super ton of fun. I like it. That'll be yeah. fun and a great way to close out a whole month of fun summer nights. What a fun party. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we, we talked about the All-American 5K, but you guys yes. also have the Mountain Gallop coming up yes, soon. Yes. Yeah, so this kind of ties into kind of kicking off the Mountain Festival that the Chamber is hosting later yes. that day, just kind of like how we did the 4th of, celebrate, 4th of July celebration. Mm -hmm. um, kicked off that. So Mountain Gallop is another fun, fun um 5k and that'll be august 17th starting at 7 a.m so registration is open now um so with that registration you'll get a race shirt and a medal too and this medal i didn't design <laughs> i just kind of like gave oh. like our metal guy like okay this is what i have for the flyer and mm -hmm. our logo please design something for me and oh my god these are like the like better than the pickleball ones really um like a little teaser is like the background of it is like saloon doors oh cool. and they're like different colors like i just i love them and okay. i think people are gonna love it too um it's very country themed old western, western. Yes. okay so it's the most nice. unique metal i've seen so if again if you just want to sign up and get a medal there's participation medals and um you can register and get one cool um spots are very limited from what we saw with all american <laughs> right so um, once we do fill up those registrations, we aren't taking any more. 
um, just to avoid all this chaos and confusion and just so to make sure that everyone gets a good medal and it has a mm-hmm. great, great time. Um, so, yeah, Mountain Gallop, it'll start at um, our ABAC gym August 17th at 7 a.m. So register now at tvrpd.org. Perfect. And, yeah, as you were saying, hopefully this is another all-time high participant as well. I mean, we're going strong with the the 5K that we had on the fourth. records. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Help us break and more we will. records. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Good stuff. Okay. And then uh, you had mentioned we have our TOTS program. That's um, kind of on the horizon, correct? So it's been... Um, so our TVRPD TOTS program is, has been established for quite a few years now. Mm-hmm. Um, and our fantastic director for that, Kelsey, she's been working hard on making more programs where it's not only the, the toddlers learning their ABCs, one, two, three, and all that stuff. It's them having fun while learning. Mm-hmm. So if they're going to craft, if they're going to go out and you know use the skate park outside or whatever it is, she's got ideas that are just amazing. She fascinates me all the time with, <laughs> with all these ideas and the toddlers have so much fun. It's super cute seeing them just enjoy their time. So right now they're in the middle of their adventure camp. So right now it's Halloween week Mm -hmm. and they made like ghost cups and they're dressing up and they're having their water day. So they're, they're just having fun. Um, But this toddler program, you know, internally does teach them um, how to make friends and how to write, how to read, how to recognize their name, just things that you'll need for coming up with elementary school, whether you're going to public or doing homeschooling. This is a great gateway to get into that and kind of start learning. Um, so it starts from ages three and it goes up to about five or six, depending on what the school district allows based on birthdays. Um, but we definitely or the TOTS program does do a lot of stuff for mm-hmm. them throughout the whole year. So um, and the classes go from September to, to May and they have like a really cute graduation at the end. OK, very yeah. cool. And how can people um, sign their kids up for this? Yeah. So tvrpd.org, you can find more information on it um, for both uh, the TOTS program and then um, also the Summit Seekers program that TOTS is starting up. And I'll talk about that a little bit more. But um, to sign up, you do have to either come into our office or um, give the TOTS director a call. So that's 661-822-3228, extension 107. Um, And you can start the registration. That's like the tots in what two minutes <laughs> perfect and i think i saw a post um from you guys that you're looking for teachers and teachers aides for that program holy moly i posted that at 8 p.m <laughs> nice <laughs> we actually had someone already apply oh, like people nice. really love our program and are registering awesome. for this so yes we are hiring teachers and teachers aides the the program is growing and because we're doing also the summit seekers which is the homeschool enrichment class mm-hmm. or course we definitely do need more teachers and teachers aid. So anyone um, who has um, prior history to teaching, definitely we welcome you to to apply. Okay, now switching gears, we have pickleball workshops. Yes, uh, we, we've already kicked those off for July with Glenda Love. Um, she's teaching at various levels there at the TPD pickleball courts. But some of the August workshops are still available. You were telling me that the beginners classes are already full for August, yes. but what else is available for people? So we have the intermediate classes as well. So it's just more advanced, getting to know more drills, getting just to really play more games of pickleball and how to move around, how to recognize the ball, like just all these different things that um, involve more in pickleball rather than learning, oh, this is what such and such is i don't know any terms right now (laughs) um and then the next level above that is the cardio drills so glenda is like okay i've taught you guys let's play some ball yeah (laughs) let's do it so cardio drill is it's just back and forth back and forth hitting the ball you know getting your steps in i mean everyone's always talking about like that they have more steps in pickleball than Mm -hmm. they do running a 5k or something wow um so this one just really focuses on just engaging in pickleball game itself rather than learning it this one is you've already learned you just want to have some fun we're going to play some um really hardcore games and just throw the ball back and forth um and hit it back hit it back um and get a sweat in very nice yeah so you can sign up on your website for those yes. those classes yeah. still yes awesome rpd.org perfect and then you were mentioning earlier our women's softball season has kicked off how's yes. that going 
So last night it went really, really mm-hmm. nice. Um, they did get like a shaded area, so the heat wave didn't affect it oh, too good. much. Mm-hmm. Um, the girls were having tons of fun. Um, Bailey here plays softball, so <laughs> she knows a little bit more about me. But what I learned yesterday was like they have, what was it called? Like a walk-in song when they're going a up to walk bat. A walk-up song, yeah. yeah. So they have like their oh. own speaker, and then each girl has a different song they walk up to. I love yeah. it. And yeah, so to incorporate that, it's just fun. And um, yeah, they did it. Yeah, they were, they were just having like a really good time. We had our score keepers there enjoying it. Our umpire had a good time. So it was just, it really felt just like a, you know, friendly game, mm-hmm. just having fun. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And then men's start tonight. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Awesome. So men's are tonight. So um, if you want to just see some some softball, come out to our Grimes Field at West Park and see some um, baseball games. And which, by the way, we broke a record on that one too. Really? Mm-hmm. Usually we get six softball teams. Yeah. This year we have nine. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's so a lot. It's, we had to extend it. So we did, or we're doing um, men's softball is Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. Okay. So it's going to be a fun, fun party there too. <laughs> awesome. Good yes. stuff. Yeah. Any other programs right now, um, maybe as far as adult sports are concerned that are going on, or is it just those two? Just those two, okay. but there is registration open for co-ed softball, oh, okay. which begins in the fall. Gotcha. Um, so right when these men and women leagues end, co-ed, co-ed begins right after. Okay. Um, so definitely start signing up for them as well. We have 10 spots. Um, so get your spot now um and you do have to sign up as a team okay um just the manager has to sign in so that'll be 600 bucks and registration ends i believe august 20 21st somewhere around there yeah that'll be a fun one and then adult basketball will start really really soon it's just it keeps going (laughs) never stops never stops (laughs) anything else uh that's going on with tvrpd that i haven't asked or we haven't talked about there's a lot i mean (laughs) definitely registrations for um bruise on the mountain still going so we're excited for that one considering sip and savor went really really well so now instead of drinking wine come drink some beer with us (laughs) give us a recap on what bruise on the mountain is and when it is all of that good stuff it's a big beer party yes (laughs) beer festival um so this is another way to just promote the breweries even if you have like a smaller brewery definitely come out um we invite you over to have people come try your your beer we'll have um lawn games we'll have live music we'll have um good food by kelsey's p-dubs um california hot dog and pokey express awesome and where is this at so it'll be at west park okay um at our baseball field too um this event is 21 and over um so get your tickets now and um, make some plans okay cool what else is on the horizon Mm, there's a lot on the horizon we have the (laughs) fit and fun we have our um more movies um i know we're doing the last movies august 6th in conjunction with tehachapi night out oh yeah Um, so that movie will be shrek perfect yeah Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that'll be fun. Um, we got a new dog park in. Um, but really, I mean, it's just a lot of events, a lot of just planning and getting off. So, But right now, if we still have openings for adventure camp for okay. kids. Um, so if you do have a kid and wants to come and join adventure camp, we still have um, very limited availability, but it's still open. So come and register. Okay. We also have the old timers event in August. Yeah. So that one's an RSVP kind of situation um, that'll happen August 4th. Okay. But we are taking in reservations now. Um, So I believe it's people who have lived here for 40 years um, or were here 40 years ago. So there's some qualifications to be part of this old timers, but it's another big event that happens at Central Park. So kind of reminiscing. Yeah. Um, and it's really nice to just hear how Tehachapi was and mm-hmm. what they saw Tehachapi be back then. Very cool event. Yeah. Yeah. And thanks for sponsoring City. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> well, good stuff. So there is so much going on, um, as you can tell. I mean, we've talked for over 30 minutes about all of the things that there are. <laughs> and to recap, be sure to go to TVRPD's website, TVRPD.org, or your social media. Remind me your Instagram yeah. handle. So our Instagram is TEH underscore rec underscore park. Okay. And then Facebook is just TVRPD. Um, just when you start typing it in or attach be Valley Recreation and Park District. Perfect. Okay. Anything else before we, we wrap up here? Um, I don't think so. We still have pool going on. 
So oh, yeah. definitely just um, check out our socials to see that schedule. We have water aerobics and morning and evening lap swims along with open um, swim. It is $5 to get in per class or per session, but definitely go enjoy the pool before we close it in September for the season. Yeah, absolutely. Plenty of ways to get out and get active with all that you guys offer at TVRPD. So mm-hmm. thanks for coming in. Bailey, great to meet you yes, and exactly. great to have you join the team. Thank you. And um, anybody listening, if you have any sort of questions, be sure to email us media at attachbcityhall.com and we'll get those to the right place. Follow us on our social media as well, at City of Tehachapi, uh, for all information on city happenings. And we often share a lot of the TVRPD's posts and what they're up to, so you can check that out as well. But we thank you for listening. Thank you guys again for joining. And we'll catch you back here next time on Tehachapod. Bye. <laughs>